Hello there. Getting ready to start another mix mix match here with Itchy Cure. I'm not really sure. Itchy Cure? Oh no. It's my best shot at it. And we're starting with Prosperity Mix. You probably want to do some guild hall stuff um maybe with bandit camp i mean bandit camp guild hall is, might be interesting with possibly artisan i don't know i mean you can't spend too much time grabbing stuff you could try fool's gold i mean the the extra gains aren't really there for it at the start i mean if you hit counterfeit then that's nice but if you don't then it's not so exciting but fool's gold plus Guild Hall could be interesting, plus a couple counterfeits. Um, so that's a possibility. They just have the 5 2, and I think, given that, I think I, I, well, I would still open counterfeit. But I think the Guild Hall Fool's Gold probably will work out fine. I think I would still open counterfeit, but I think this is, I think the 5 2 is probably a little nicer here. Um,. So basically, I have to think about whether there's time to uh, they just buy fools gold. I mean, they're just gonna buy fools gold, but um, whether there's time for me to get like a artisan and some bandit camps and counterfeit, or if the timing of all that is just a little too slow. I don't hit five here, so that's gonna make it quite a bit harder. I mean, there's something to said for doing the guild hall first too. You just miss out on a trashing on your first shuffle, but it does make it so that hitting five again is quite um quite likely. So there's something to be said for that as well. Um I really needed to hit five. <laughs> and this is really bad too, actually, because if I hit five first here, I can at least take the... Um, <laughs> I only have three silvers bottom deck. I mean, I, I'm going to lose this game, but I don't think there's anything I could do. The, the, the triple silver bottom deck off the... Yeah, I mean, you trash in a state on your first shuffle, have three silvers, but still don't have five the second shuffle. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I don't take blame for this. Um, the only thing I have going for me is that I do have the VP. Um, that's sort of unlikely to probably ever matter. Now I'm not, I'm just not, now I'm not even sure what kind of, Like, if I'm going to make an angle for winning here, there's just not really one, is there? I have to be competitive on the provinces, but how do I get there? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be pretty tough. I don't think I'll take a canal, even though it's not terrible. Probably will take Guild Hall here. I don't know. They also have a pretty good shot at doubling when they need to later in the game, assuming they haven't had to use a lot of coffers. They're going to be in a good position to uh, they're going to be in a pretty good position to double later on if they need to, because they can counter, I mean, they'll have to wait for their counterfeit hand, but I just have to 
I think just kind of keep up on the provinces here. I guess there's uh, the the reaction is also sort of interesting here because they get additional coffers. But if it's going to cost you a if it's going to cost you a province gain, then it, it looks pretty bad. This is just a depressingly kind of bad draw. I guess I do it like this. I guess it's not that bad. Um since I have this maneuver and then I'll just blow up the silver and save the save the coffer. Um but it is it's a the problem is going to be when their counterfeit comes up, they can probably just double province and so I'm going to play here. I mean, I'm going to take a province. I don't have really options. There's a good chance that they just have double in hand. But I don't really have I don't have other play. <laughs> so I'm sure that that's what's going to happen, but yeah. So I don't know if that was a bad opening split coupled to a pretty nightmare sh couple reshuffles for me, so I don't like to blame the luck too much, but I I won't take responsibility for that one. I still don't know what the how the format of this tournament works. I kind of think the outcomes of my matches have, are going to put me not into a chance to win it overall. But I don't, like I said, there's like another groupish group stage between before the final bracket. So I'm not sure that, that I'm not so I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just find out. I'll probably just find out when it happens. I don't think I'm going to read the rules and figure it out. So, Lurker's nice with City Quarter here. Hermit's nice just doing Hermit stuff. Um, Masquerade opening is reasonable. The, the thing that we're lacking here is just um extra gains you can get a bunch of actions of course um but not uh I mean, they can do the lurker, but I mean, I can get a lurker into my shuffle, so it's it's a little risky. I mean, they're they're more likely to play it, especially if they have masquerade in hand. They're more likely to play the lurker again, but you just trash hermit. You can get you can get just like endless um. Can get just like endless madmen here because you can get the hermits back. I'm trying to think if I like already go for and maybe city gate. I almost think I go for city quarter already. Um, though it's a little bit questionable.
I'm not going to buy anything here. So it was like, I could save for a... I could save for a um, city gate, but there wasn't a guarantee I'd have three anyway. So I'll pay off $2 debt here, and then that seems pretty good. <clears throat> Not a big fan of the cut purse. I need to get a regular masquerade. Right. <laughs> Not that there's an irregular. I need to get masquerade so I can do some copper trashing. Um It would be reasonable to get a guide at some point as well. I could buy my could buy cut purse here. Oh wait, I guess I don't buy anything. Maybe I should have gotten a guide, but What's in the trash still?
I guess I can raid. I should have raided last time. Or city gated. I didn't do either of those things last time, did I? I could get a silver. I could have got a silver so that I get up to eight dollars, I guess. Uh, I'll just keep this. I mean, yeah, I mean, guiding there was a little risky, and the hand could already draw, so it was whatever. That's all of them. Well, I guess we'll get lurkers. I don't think they can pile out. I don't think they have the draw for that. I guess can I pile out? Maybe I can just pile out. We gain three hermits. And then gain three lurkers. And then we'd have five lurkers. I guess we can pile, but it wouldn't win. <clears throat> well, we wouldn't like to mess up a... Right, because we have five, six gains basically, and but we can chain through three of them. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's still fine. We can in the next. I don't want to. They don't have anything like the number of. Um, I think we'll be okay if we go like this. Oh, right, I needed to get two lurkers, or that was the idea. Well, this is fine. Um,
Uh, how many lurkers do I even have? I guess I don't even know if this this ends either. They only paid one dead off. I didn't really add. What do I have? I'm not sure I really lowered anything. <clears throat> I don't remember now. Anyway, I have seven gains. Uh, but I guess I can chain this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a pretty, pretty mad board. Am I right? All right, that was hand mix. This is Hinter Hinterlands. Which has, uh, all right, let's punch it. Well, this is, uh, Pretty juicy board, I suppose. You might call it. Uh, you could do double. I mean, Skulk is okay, too. Skulk's not crazy. Uh, you really would like replace. Um, but Skulk is not unreasonable. The buy is okay, too. Five two would be really good here. You could go lackeys replace and be pretty happy. This would be a should be a very quick pile out. Um, I expect the villa and the lackeys to run, and then beyond that, I don't know. But well, we got they have the better opening, and I don't see the gold, so. I'm not getting a replace in this shuffle, which is awful. Um, do, I guess Envious doesn't do anything at all to them, really. So that's cool, too. I don't really understand the villa buy. I think you probably want to just do that when <laughs> they have the villa in hand apparently, so it doesn't my <laughs> I chancellor them, which uh it, I don't know. I don't know that it'll matter really. So I think I'd like a replace. Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything since they triggered. Like, it's just basically just a reshuffle from whatever it was before. It doesn't mean it didn't change anything. 
Well, this is a bummer. I dislike the villa stuff. Priest turn. I would triple lackeys. Nah. Gold, I mean, that's okay. But I would triple lackeys if I had been them. Um, I think I would have anyway. Can I get a den? Maybe it should have been a summon. Certainly something to be said for that. Hopefully they don't have lackeys here. They don't. They don't appear to, so that's pretty fortunate. I would have doubled. The Villa buys are, I think, really terrible. Um, I think they're really bad, actually. But... Maybe I'm full of it. Hmm. Kind of want another den. Maybe den lackeys, but I kind of want to just buy up the lackeys too. Or buy one and summon one. I'm definitely going to get into like a... Probably somewhat of a village problem that they aren't going to necessarily have, but they also will just be plain villas, which are kind of like coppers. Not exactly here, but... Um, the real draw is like getting Den of Sin. I mean, Villa Lackey's combo is not draw. It just gives you money. I mean, that's fine too. It gives you money, but. Um, I'm going to burn through the villagers pretty quick. They'll probably have four dollars and they'll probably buy a fill. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't really get it. I will be buying some villas here. I kind of would like to try and replace it into one if I can. There's something, I guess there's something to be said for stopping and trying to save a little bit here. If we're going to buy some villas to just start doing it before we play villagers. I mean, it's not, um, it's not crazy to think that that's the thing to do. <clears throat> we didn't find the replace or or the den so that was sad This is just, I, there's, there's literally like eight lackeys in there. Cannot, I cannot deal with it. And then they're going to get the rest of the villas. What do we, oh gosh. I hate this. I'm so mad. <laughs> Could summon a border guard, I guess. Uh. I'm so mad. <laughs> I 
Maybe they'll leave us a three pile. They're lowering border guards, which is what it would take. I mean, you knew there were going to be two lackeys on top. That was just that was just what was left in the deck, frankly. Um. We're going to probably do this regardless. So. We're not uh, super far away from a win. I guess we should look to see if this there's a way to play this to get... We haven't bought anything yet. So we, if we messenger border guards, that goes down to three... We'd have five buys, but it would cost how much? Six, 12, there's still a gold. So I guess we have it. The messenger gives a little money back too. Or wait, that may, that may be $2 short. Um, I guess we could play the skulk and see what, uh, See what gets hit, because there's a chance like it's a locust and they pick a border guard and it helps helps us win. Um, so let me think. The messenger, I mean, the messenger gives two border guards, but that's not really cheaper. Ten, sixteen. It's really, it's really like sixteen dollars. But if you draw and play the messenger, then it's like. Um, then it's like, uh, I guess I could give the villas out. I don't need, I could give the villas out. Then I would draw, so that would cost $4. I would have nine. That would cost $4. I'd be down to five. I would draw five more dollars, messenger and border guard, and I would still have, that should work, if I understand this correctly. Uh, I also apparently miscounted, oh, I, I, I didn't count the, the decrease from the other villa. I didn't count that dollar from the villa. I don't know why I was like so focused on messengering uh, border guards, just because there were more of them left. Like that meant that that was the way to do it. <laughs> well, also you kind of think of the villas as maybe you wanted to get them in hand and play them or something like that, but clearly wasn't the thing there. Guess it was a blessing in disguise to not have played the uh, replace three times, leaving me with a point. All right, so wait, one more game. We're going to be playing Seaside Mix. Looks a bit. Messy. I didn't. See, I saw a sea hag, but I don't know if there's good trashing. Well, there's develop and plan. So not especially good trashing, but um, I guess it's something. It's really not very good trashing because <laughs> it's not like there's a. I don't know. There there are some okay plan targets, but they're not. They're not really good. Expedition will help us activate though, which is pretty nice. I'll probably open dungeon develop. Oh, there's cemetery. Well, okay, wishing wishing for a cemetery is probably pretty good. And it's like I don't know. I guess your actual problem here is draw. So 
um, amongst other things. You have a lot of problems here, I guess it's the actual <laughs> the actual answer to uh okay, we get a that's fine actually. The magic lamp discard is fine. Um This is actually complete garbage though. The no estates for the develop. And also, I mean the two buy is okay. It's not the two buy is not the worst thing ever, but I'm just going to Expedition. I'm just going to get my Uniques off Develop Plays. Hopefully. Um, I guess there's like some odds of just hitting just right here. This order may be wrong. Okay, we didn't find... One, two, three. I mean, there's some odds still of... Activating right, we find develop. Yeah, well, we can set aside the magic lamp, we can buy an artificer. I think, I mean, if we get to If we get to Haunted Mirror or Artificer, we'll activate here. Um, so we get a couple cards to try and do that. They may be activated themselves here. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. This will be uh, potentially rough. Okay, 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 okay. This I can work with. Now, do we just buy Expedition a lot? Does Swamp Hag do anything here? What do the things do here? These are all questions. What's the Haunted Mirror cost there? Okay. I think I'm going to Expedition. This is an interesting board. Um, I guess there's like some world where we just want to use the artificer power right off off the bat, but I don't think so. We could try and get a ghost here. Not crazy. I mean, the board is a little underpowered, which makes ghost look in my mind a little nicer, but. Um, and then just do an expedition again. We're going to both be playing at the end of this for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure you go triple artificer or not. I may, uh, probably two, but I have to give it some thoughts still.
there's definitely something to be said for <clears throat> getting a cemetery maybe. My hand size isn't really big for it, but also don't have there's an artificer well there's artificer and develop left right that's a little i don't know if develop will work out maybe if we have expeditioned it's not so scary like otherwise what are we kind of going for here in the end are we buying provinces? Because we have to buy provinces. I guess we could not play the wish. Um, and wait to get a cemetery with it. There may also be a point where we can develop something into a cemetery and that's pretty nice. That could be a thing. It would be a lot better to hit the artificer here than the develop um we could try and draw the artificer in which case we could would we have a big enough hand size well we could just play an artificer i guess or play a wish and get an artificer does that give enough hand size though one two three no that's still not big enough mm, this is all very confusing to me Golds are also pretty good, <laughs> to be honest. Um, we've got to be able to buy provinces. <clears throat> Maybe is not the play here, but I guess we can try and put some... Pro well, what did I say? I probably needed expedition... If we're going to play the ghost and my hit develop. So they have a bunch of artificers and I have a gold. Well, I also have, you know, a handful of artificers. I just also have a gold. Uh, I guess it's still better to just see more before we do this because we can draw whatever we put on top regardless. Do they still have a swamp hag? So they still have a sea hag. They're just playing, it's just colliding with develop, I guess, and they're playing the develop, which is reasonable. But the other thing to look out for with the wish would have been a crypt. I didn't really have a hand for it there. The. I could have chosen to do the discard stuff differently and then maybe it was okay. Um, should we get a silver or should, oh, let's get another dungeon. They just never... Did I trash the curse? When did I even trash the curse? Apparently right off the bat. Um... So this can be a haven. 
I guess. I guess this was also the chance to try and do a, a some kind of a cemetery thing, but I chose not to try it. I do have an awful lot of orange cards that the ghost can hit, which is a, a bit frightening. Now I don't even have to worry about it because I'm not seeing the ghost. So basically like no big deal. You're a cave. I mean, there's possibilities where you want to do it, but it's a little bit of a hard sell. Uh, I guess we'll play the dungeon. Hmm, we could just province. They're kind of province here, probably. When did they get another another artificer? My ghost is certainly a bit worse than their ghost. They get to play their develop and their sea hag now, assuming they, they drew them. Mm. Buys a province. Seems reasonable. <laughs> I'm not super likely to be able to province here. I guess it's not any worse for me than it was last time and I managed to do it, but it's mostly on whether I find the gold pretty much. Okay. Didn't find the gold. I wonder if we should be dutching already or if I should wait a little bit. Secret Cave's okay, I can just not duration it, and the ghost will still be back. Um, there's, like, something to be said for trying to dutchy there, but they'll probably just province pretty consistently. I mean, they're they're thin, and then the rest of the deck is a lot of cantrips, so... They just kind of draw through it, and then if they can get and play their vassal, then, um, you know, they'll have the eight dollars, and they can play play a sea hag too. So I'm not really sure what my artificer buy was all about. To be honest, I don't think it does much of anything. I don't really know that a duchy is super helpful for me either, but because I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm going to miss province again, like not just that, that time, but like again, I do feel like they will eventually, but I don't know when, when that will happen exactly. It may be never. They have their ghost too. Yeah. That's, pretty rough that they have the hand size there to um, gain an artificer and ghosted in by province like that's that's tough so if I we'll, we'll just keep in mind I mean we won't be able to really do it because of course the, the artificers I draw won't behave like duchies but um, anyway what am I even saying?
Because they've got ghosted artificers just like they're gonna they're gonna promise. Barring some really, really fluky draws. I guess they have to play a little bit around I mean, they have to think about the, you know, province plus duchy. I would probably take a tie here if it offered to me. Oh, man, I wish the Haven had missed. Or the Vassal, I mean. Pretty unlikely they have... I mean, they have green cards. That's the only thing. Like, if at the end of this they can... Well, their hand size is, hand size is not that large, so that's something. Um, They might be able to get province plus cemetery. Um... So, I don't know. That gives me a little bit of threat. I don't know if it's very real threat, but... So, they just went for it. That is kind of bizarre to me. Um, losing the develop is not going to help me, and I probably don't have it anyway, but... Because that just straight up loses to Duchy Province, and I... Maybe I'm never doing that, but um, or even um, you know, like Dusty or Province Cemetery trashing cursed, which I don't think I really have any. Yeah, that's a bummer because I could have kept the. Well, I wouldn't have even had to keep the... That's a real bummer that the develop flipped and pretty unlucky because <laughs> there's not like... I mean, it's not like I have a bunch of other things that are extra gains. Yeah, the hand size isn't going to be there. I can play four artificers and then I have to keep a copper. I'm not going to have five cards. I have like one. I'd have to have... Well, let's let's think about it before we choose to do anything. Um, so we start with a six-card hand. After we play all the artificers, theoretically, we have a six-card hand. And then we play the last one. We have six cards. Uh, we could tie... We could tie, right? If we play four artificers and then have gold copper, then we'd have four cards we could toss for it. But we can't play like a dungeon. I don't know. This is... I would probably take a tie if I somehow get that draw. Um... Well, so if the gold's on top, then it happened. Yeah. The bummer thing is <laughs> is that the develop would have worked for this. If this... If the... Well, anyway. It's it's whatever. Um, I should have kept the curse, though. Because what I actually want to do now is just um, well, I guess I'll do it this way. They're gonna province, so it's not gonna matter. But I 
I don't even know what my um good expedition. What kind of duds? I don't even know what actions are left. Is there like a haven or a dungeon or something? Probably something that'll be bad. Not hand size increasing. I feel like I need to play for them having... Yeah, it's like a haven. I feel like I need to play for them having a really, really bad hand. Or a really, really bad turn. So I guess I'll play for that. Um, the swamp hag was cost another. The, well, whatever. Not the swamp hag. The ghost was four, so I could have developed in a duchy and bought primes. I'm so sad. What's weird is I think they could have used their resources to score more than that. I don't know exactly what they had in hand, but when they played the, when they played just the swamp hag, I think whatever they have in hand must be able to do more than that points wise for them. Um, but <clears throat> this haven just sucks I don't know if there, w at what point I mean I could have top decked arf artif well there weren't any artificers left so what that's pretty smart. It's sad that it get, got another hit, but it probably didn't need it. But that's smart to do the vassal, of course. All right. Well, I tied everybody. This was a really bad showing for me in this mix, but I, maybe there's more uh, rounds. I, I'm, I don't know. Their format is different, so there'll be more of these types of games but uh i i'm no good thanks for watching i'll see you later